。好，第廿五條咧就要我哋改變下嗰個實驗啦，為嘅就係令到個 liquid level 咧升得快一啲嘅。咁啊，成條題目呢。考嘅第一樣嘢就係唔該睇清楚題目，因為好多同學之所以答錯呢，就係因為佢哋誤以為題目係問緊一個大啲嘅升幅，但係其實題目係問緊一個快啲嘅升幅啫。咁所以呢，我哋需要做嘅呢，就係一個加速咗嘅滲透作用。你見到右手邊呢，我就喺書度 cap 咗一段文字，就係、是、factor affecting the rate of diffusion。你會問啦嚇，梁 Sir， 你咪搞笑啊？你咪 cap 錯嘢啊 ！Rate of diffusion， 而家講 osmosis 喎、哦，咁你要記得返啦。其實滲透都係一款特殊化嘅擴散啫嘛，因為佢淨係講水嘅分子，同埋啦，一定要有一個 differentially permeable membrane 差異滲透嘅膜呢，響樹先做得到嘅。所以呢個姑且呢，我係照 cap， 但係呢就都要改一改嘅，有少少調色嘅。咁啊 ，rate of osmosis， 我哋唔單止講濃度階梯，亦都講呢水勢嘅階梯 ，water potential gradient。温度照樣都關事嘅 ，size of particle 粒子大細呢，今次就唔係太關事啦，因為呢水分子係咁細就係咁細㗎啦，距離啦同埋 surface area 啦仍然係關事嘅。咁而家啦，我哋就逐一擊破啦噃。A 同 B 呢，都係講緊啊，我哋要改變返呢兩個溶液嘅 volume 啦。咁但係呢兩個呢，其實都係錯嘅，因為啦，你見到五個 factor 入面冇一個係講 volume 嘅。你話最似嘅係咪應該講濃度啊？兩 Sir 係啊，應該講濃度先啦嘛。頭先呢，我哋去講嘅就話 x percent 呢，就係一個十個 percent 嘅濃度，而 y percent 呢，就係五個 percent 嘅濃度。咁所以啦 ，y percent 濃度嘅溶液呢，佢係有高啲嘅 water potential， 而 x percent 由於佢係十 percent 啊嘛，咁所以啦佢低啲嘅 water potential， 所以啲水就會由 y 去咗 x 啦，係咪？咁但係而家啦，我要加快佢啊嘛，就要令到呢嗰個 water potential 個 gradient 呢加大得更加多啦。咁所以呢，我應該改變嘅呢係個濃度就真，應該將 x percent 嘅濃度呢再加大佢，例如啦，加到變成二十 percent， 而 y percent 嘅濃度呢應該就降低佢，例如降到一個 percent。咁樣嘅話啦，我就會令到嗰個濃度階梯更加斜。亦都令到個 water potential 嘅階梯更加斜，即係有一個 steeper 嘅 water potential gradient 啦。咁所以呢，我哋就會知得到呢，係令到嗰個滲透呢就會再快一啲。咁所以啦 ，A、B 呢要改係可以改返啱嘅，就係、是、變咗做 concentration。跟住到 C 啦，用一條短啲嘅 capillary tube 囉。咁其實啦，都係自欺欺人嘅啫。因為啦，如果滲透嘅速度唔改變，我同樣地都要上升五 cm， 所用嘅時間係一樣噶嘛，唔會話用條短啲嘅管，你行嗰五 cm 會行得快咗噶嘛。那個好簡單嘅比喻就係一把三十 cm 嘅間尺，同一把十 cm 嘅間尺，你去度一張紙，咁唔會話你用咗一把短啲嘅間尺，張紙會變短噶嘛，張紙都係咁長嘅啫，但你要度兩次咯。所以 C 咧都係錯，咁唯獨呢。答案呢就係 D 啦，用一個長啲嘅 Dallas tubing。今次我哋想講嘅呢，係講緊個透析管長啲，其實有咩嘅特別之處呢？就係、是、會增加個表面面積。畫返幅圖俾大家，呢、这個係個 b i c a 呢個呢係一個舊嘅 Dallas tubing， 短啲嘅。而家呢就用一個長啲嘅 Dallas tubing。咁其實你就會發現啦，喺呢個長啲嘅 Dallas tubing 啦，相比短啲嘅話呢，其實佢同出面嘅水啊，个接触面啊，其实系咪大咗啊？呢、这个正正就系增加咗个表面面积，从而令到 osmosis 嘅速度真系快咗，渗透快咗，自不然啦，就会升嘅水面速度咧都会快咗，所以答案就系 D 啦。而去到最后尾啦，你见我咧零零舍舍写咗一个叫做 volume of cylinder 出嚟嘅啊，呢一句系咩玩法呢？其实呢一句呢。正正就係去呼應返，如果個題目係真係想令到個 water level 加高一啲嘅話呢，咁我哋呢就應該係要改變成個 capillary tube 啦，要用窄啲嘅管。由於佢嘅原面積呢係細咗，咁有同樣體積嘅水入咗去嘅話呢，其實啦嗰、那個高度呢就會增加多一啲。呢度亦都其實係提下大家題型嘅變換囉。我今次唔問你快，我今次問你增加高一啲
，你就知道點樣做啦。Question twenty five asks us to do some modification result in a faster rise in the liquid level. So for this question, we need to be very careful to read the question because the question is asking faster rise in the liquid level instead of the greater rise in the liquid level. So in this question, we need to do is to speed up the osmosis. So you can see the factors affecting the rate of diffusion. I extract it from the textbook. But you may ask that, Mr. Leung, this question is asking osmosis, right? So why do you extract the content of diffusion for us? So I need to remind you that osmosis is a special kind of diffusion. It means that osmosis, we only talk about the water molecules, and there must be a differentially permeable membrane for the osmosis to take place. So that's why I can still use the factors affecting the rate of diffusion as the explanation. But of course, we need to change it a bit. So I change it as the osmosis and also the terms. We do not only talk about the concentration gradient, but also the water potential gradient. And for the temperature, it also work. But the size of particle is not that relevant because for water molecules. They are that small, and they are always that small. So that's why the size of the water molecules it doesn't affect the rate of osmosis at all. So let's take a look at the answer. Options A and B is talking about changing the volume of the x percent and y percent solution S, but they are wrong. Among these five factors, we never see the volume. We only see the concentration. So that's why for options A and B, if we would like to change it to correct it. So actually, we need to change the concentration. In question twenty four, I give you the example. The number is that x percent, ten percent solution, y percent, which is five percent. So that's why for the five percent solution S, it will have a higher water potential than x percent. So y percent solution, it will have a higher water potential than that of the x percent. So now I need to change the concentration to make the osmosis become faster. So I need to make the x percent solution to be more concentrated, and I need to dilute the y percent solution, for example, to one percent. So we can see that there will be a steeper water potential gradient. So that's the concept. We increase the rate of the osmosis, and then let's take a look at the option C. Use a shorter capillary tube. Actually, it's just telling lie to yourself. The concept is that if the osmosis, we do not speed it up. So that means the water will enter the dilute tubing with the normal speed. So it doesn't affect the speed of the liquid level rise. For example, the liquid level rise for five cm, it will take the same time. So that's why. For the option C is not correct. It cannot speed up the osmosis. So for the option D, it is correct by using a long piece of dilute tubing, because we can increase the surface area for the osmosis to take place. So the metaphor is that in this beaker we have the shorter dilute tubing and we have the longer dilute tubing, and we can see that the surface area of the dilute tubing. In contact with the solution, so we can see that for the longer dilute tubing, it will have a higher, greater surface area to be in contact with the solution. So that's why the osmosis they can really speed up. And for the last concept, I would like to mention is about the volume of the cylinder. So that's the way to answer the question if it really asks about a greater rise in the liquid level. So how can we change the capillary tube? We should change it to be a narrow capillary tube to make the rise become higher. Because for a narrower capillary tube, the circle area will become smaller, and then if there is a same volume of water going into the capillary tube, so the height of the liquid level will be higher. So you can see that if you meet this. Type of variation of the question, so you know how to answer it.